Hey there, how are you? Today is April 21st and it's 2020. Ryan Haley here, broker and owner of Atlantic Shores Sotheby's International Realty, coming to you from our office in Ocean City, Maryland. So what's going on? That's the big question I keep getting. Um, what is going on with the real estate market? Is there anything happening? Are there any sales? Um, people can't come to the beach. How are you making things happen? And I just wanted to reach out and share uh, the last week's worth of data coming straight from our multiple listing service here uh, that we use. Um, and I just wanted to share some of that with you because what we have seen is, although when I guess we've been in it now, I think I've been running, I've been personally been running 38 days uh, every day. And I started right when we kind of went into our stay at home order. So we've been in this now for well over a month. And um, what I personally noticed was right off the gate, we saw things really kind of slow down. But there's been some trends here as of recently that are starting to show a little bit more activity, a little bit of a, some, some, some life and loosening um, with people and what they want to do with regard to real estate. So real estate is still moving. I am going to share my screen with you to give you a better idea right out of our multiple listing service here. Um, the multiple listing service is where realtors go to enter data, to review data. So we go and I put our listings into the multiple listing service and then it allows all other real estate agents who are members of the multiple listing service to have access to it and to see what is available. So what I wanted to show you is a market snapshot here and this is specifically for Worcester County, Maryland and um, just kind of show you what has happened the last seven days. So we've had 44 new properties come on the market here in the last seven days. We had 14 that came back to active. And so this could be a situation where the property was under contract and negotiations within the contract had fallen out. It could have been due to a home inspection. It could have been due to um, not being able to come to an agreement, like I said, about repairs and or it could be because somebody was denied financing. Um, so 14 came back to active price decreases. These are price reductions. We saw 26 properties in the entire county that were reduced in the last seven days. Actually, I've seen two that increased. People decided that they, that they thought the price was too low. They were going to go ahead and increase it. Um, active under contract. So this here, these 11 properties are properties that um, typically uh, a buyer has agreed to terms to purchase a property, but they have something that they need to sell. So it's contingent. It's contingent upon them selling a property. Uh, so there's been 11 that have come to an agreement. 26 new properties have gone under contract. So buyers and sellers have agreed 26 uh, to all terms and 26 have gone under contract. Uh, closed. These are actual settlements, properties that have gone to settlement. Um, 51 properties have gone to settlement in the last seven days, temporarily off market. Uh, nine, that means that they could have taken them off the market just for the, the time being, just to uh, maybe see where things are going to go here in the next couple weeks. Withdrawn. This is also typically a temporary status. Um, usually withdrawn, you would pull it off if you're going to be doing some repairs. You're going to be um, you know, changing out windows. You're going to do a new roof. You're going to do some painting, um, restaging, and then put it back on the market. Canceled is indefinite. That's, that's done um, forever. Not indefinite, but done completely. Three. And then seven, where uh, the, seller or the, the seller has tried to, pro to market the property through a local real estate agent or an agent, and that agent was not successful, so it was expired. So that's the last seven days. One thing I think is interesting. So in seven days, there's been 26 that have gone pending. But let's take this to the last three days. In just the last three days, we've had 17 go pending, 19 closed, and 18 active. So this is that trend I was talking about. We've seen here recently this bump in activity where pendings are almost outpacing our new actives. Right here, 17 uh, pending, 18 new active, and 19 closed. So let's bump that back again. So in the, the seven days prior, we saw 26 go pending and 44 active. 
Last three days, 17 pending, 18 active. So we're seeing this little surge of activity. Uh, personally, here in our office, I had four of our uh, listings in the last seven days go under contract. So we're definitely seeing a little bit more activity. Now, what we'll have to do is continue to monitor this as we move forward. You know, this is something that I want to come to you on a weekly basis and give you an update just to see how things are going. Are we going to see um, an influx of listings where sellers feel like they definitely want to sell so that we have more inventory? Are we going to see a decrease in demand or is it going to be quite possibly the opposite where we're kind of like loading the cannon right now where there's this demand that's just getting pent up. People want to buy, but they feel like they can't get out of their house. So there's this pent up demand. And then if we don't have enough new listings come on the market, what's going to happen is demand here, listings are here. And what typically happens with that is prices go up um, that combined with interest rates. So we don't know. I'm not saying that's going to be the case. It could go completely the opposite way, but we are watching it on a weekly basis. And I want to make sure actually we're watching it on a daily basis. I'm sharing it with you on a weekly basis. Um, just want to make sure I can keep you informed as to what's truly going on here in our ocean city real estate market. So if you have any questions for me, please feel free to reach out. You can always reach me on my cell phone, 443-614-4370. Call, text, and look forward to speaking with you. Have a great day.